Hello YouTube land. Um, today I'm going to do a very quick and simple sign. Uh, a friend of mine's asked for something very specific. Uh, it's got the words love, happiness and life on it. It's going to be a raised one. So you can use it as a stamp in sand and stuff like that. Um, going to be going for a 10 mil letter height. And it's only going to be extruded about a millimetre off the off the plastic anyway, so it's not going to be a very thick sign. Uh, so what we want to do we're going to start off with the first the first uh, letters. So love. Those in. Yeah. We're going to want to move this up a bit because we want to have love, happiness, and life in the same. All centered. So let's center it now. Okay. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. We should change the font while we're here. Um, one equals timer style equals bold. Let's go with bold. I like bold. There we go. Put nice and thick letter in there. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with that. Actually, let's put a translate on the front of it just for the. We won't put anything in there yet, but let's put a translate in there anyway. Uh, love, happiness, wash. She's a bit on the sentimental side. There we go. Love, happiness, and life are sitting on top of each other. Um, we want the love one to go up the furthest. Now, our big letters are 10 mil high. We want, say, 2 mil in between. So we want to go, uh, say, 24. The first one. See where that puts it. That's pretty good. I'm going to go with 12. Okay, there we go, that looks pretty good. Now, I wouldn't mind making this parametric because I wouldn't mind actually reusing this whole sign again. This would be nice, I think. It would be good to be a good idea to use it again. So, um, line one, so we put the tag here, line one text equals. Up. So we'll replace that there. Text. Um, make sure it works. There we go. Okay. Let's do the same thing with the other three lines. Let's really make this whole thing parametric. Uh, this is could be a long video. I don't know how long this is going to be. This is. Already at four minutes. Um, so. Okay, so there we go. It's now almost completely parametric. Uh, we can also change here. So, um, what's it called? Uh, it's called sign font equals.
why not make the whole thing parametric even for the fonts plus it saves on screen space so there you go just test to see if it works by changing it right, let's look at that works beautifully okay so we're doing pretty well so far, but uh, we should probably change the H, the horizontal line, do they? Um, yeah, but let's, let's leave that for the time being. So what we're going to do, let's, um, we've got to put a giant square underneath it, so let's, uh, well first off, let's linear, let's do a linear extrude. Because we're gonna want this sticking up a millimeter from the base. Um, so there we go. Now our text is three mil high. The base is gonna be two mil high, so that means the top of this is gonna be sticking out by a millimeter. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is a union. Put a cube in. Now, cube is needs to be say 40 mil high, but we don't not quite want it 40 mil high because we actually want it, to, we want it 40 mil high, but it's, we need we need to translate it as well. So let's put the translate in. And fiddle with the numbers in a minute. Okay, so we want. Looks roughly a hundred mil wide. Yeah, hundred mil. Forty, and we want two mil high. So it's there. We go. Okay, start, starting to look good. Now at this point, we need to drag. This over to the left, so let's go negative 50. Okay, there we go, we've now got that to the center. We do need to drop this down a little bit. So negative, say, three. And it should put it roughly in the, the text, roughly in the center. Yeah, that looks pretty close to the center. That is centered, but it's good. Okay. So now we have, I don't know, I'm not too keen on the sharp edges. So this is still, it's still small enough to be, a, it's small enough to be a key ring, really. It's a big key ring, but yeah, which doesn't have any keys. I don't think, we should have a house key. Yeah, that'll work. So we'll put a little cert, we'll put, we'll put a, um, a little uh, hole in there, but uh, first off, let's, Let's round off these corners. We could, could use offset, but let's actually, yeah, let's use offset. It may not actually be working for me. I don't like using offset all the time anyway. Alright. So, we'll put, put that aside. And we'll do a bunch of cylinders. Four cylinders. Finish the translate particles. Uh, so that's a five millimeter radius. H equals two. Okay, and we'll pop it right there. So now we want to do negative uh, fifty minus five.
So now we need to do those upper cylinders. So we got 40 minus 5. And then we'll just wrap the whole thing in a hole. There we go. Nicely rounded corners, or almost rounded corners. Anyway, we'll sort that out before with this. There we go. We've got nice, smooth, rounded corners. That actually looks pretty good. It's, uh, Okay, now we need to put our hole in it. So we have a different statement. Translate. Okay. We'll borrow the position there. We'll borrow that cylinder there. And we'll simply make it 2.5. We'll also make it 3 mil high and we'll drop it down 8.5. Okay. That's where the hole is there. Let's put it at 40. Oops. Minus 5. There we go. That's the uh, that's the sign pretty much the off sign keyring pretty much complete. Uh, nice and simple. We're gonna print this out in yellow. Got a really nice uh, yellow PLA. This is gonna get done. I might actually modify this further and maybe do it a bit thicker, but I'll see how this prints out first. It should be good. So yeah, if I can, I'll set the um, Pop the a proper picture of the end result at the end of this video. Mm. So yeah, that was fun.